Here's a quick little video on the Mega Tree Topper that we've added to our show this year. It contains 264 nodes. Uh, it will sit atop our 12 foot mega trees. Uh, the longitude lines, these lines right here, are made using half inch PVC pipe. I'll go into how we bent all that stuff. Uh, but the strips themselves are the 60 per meter. They're the 5 volt model that Ray Wu sells, and uh, they're really bright. Uh, these have been cut down to half meter, so there are 30 LEDs going up each wedge, if you will. In the middle here, we've got the porcupine sphere. Uh, perfect item for Christmas decorating, in my opinion. We've stuffed, um, we, yeah, we've literally stuffed, uh, stuffed nodes into that. We used grommets. Let me see if I can get in here. We used, uh, stuffed the nodes into grommets, and then we actually had to remove some of the material on the grommet to be able to slide it in. This one actually has too much weight pulling on it, so it keeps popping out, so I'll uh, have to fix that here in a minute. That said, uh, the tree topper itself, PVC fittings. Uh, as you can see, half-inch pipe goes in to this, uh, I call it the screwy thingy. <laughs> there's a, I know there's a name for it. I just can't remember what it is. And we've got uh, the nuts screwed on there. Uh, so it goes from a four, four inch to two inch coupling, and then a two inch to three quarter inch uh, coupling. And then there's a three quarter to half inch adapter in here. There's a little piece of half inch PVC uh, that connects the porcupine sphere to these other fittings. Uh, same deal down here, uh, half inch uh, PVC pipe to the three quarter to half inch adapter to the two, uh, to the three quarter to two inch uh, fitting, uh, again to a two inch, that's a two inch to four inch adapter, and then a four inch uh, coupling here, and on the bottom they're affixed the same way uh, as they are on the top. Uh, the way we bent the PVC, as many of you know, we've used steam in the past to make our arches. We used sand this time, and we heated the sand up on my grill, and using a metal funnel, and a we, we devised a stopper to put on the, the PVC. Uh, you trickle the sand in, and fill it up and it's very pliable, very quick. And uh, we used a mold and everything. I'll probably do another tutorial on how to bend PVC pipe uh, using the sand uh, just to get an idea. It's really cool how it all works out. Now, to hook this up, we're using the, uh, the Falcon 16. And we're using this side of the board because it runs the five volts. So let's kind of follow. So the power comes in through here now using the cord. I'm trying not to touch everything for real. Okay. okay. And then we have this uh, kind of piggybacking to power this other supply. So this is the 12 volt supply. That's the five volt supply. Uh, the 12 volt uh, output goes over here to run this side of the board. The 5 volt output goes over here to run this side of the board. Uh, pixel net in. And then we devised a way to make basically extension cords without using the Ray Wu uh, 3 conductor wire. So we use standard Cat 5. And the uh, so basically, let me see if I can get in here. On this one, so these channels, okay, so we use the orange, the solid orange for data, and the white and orange for data. And then basically what we did is we fused the other conductors together. So all the solid uh, wires are uh, the plus, the positive voltage, and the striped cables are the, the negative or ground. And then basically what happens is it goes over here, we fused them together, and unfortunately, with the uh, the heat shrink already on here, uh, these are wired the same as uh, you know the same way that DLA does it with the the data, the voltages and whatnot. We just happen to use the other conductors of the Cat5 wire to get the voltage up to the 
up to the light. So that's basically how that works. And then, uh, like I said, uh, Falcon 16 runs perfectly. Uh, the, the porcupine sphere over here is 12 volts. So we're able to run the 12 volt. We basically made another extension cord, except for with two data, we just fused the datas together. So, uh, kind of technical. And again, depending on demand, uh, we can make a video on how we make these two headed extension cords. But basically what it does is it reduces your solder connections by one third. So saves you a little time and effort. And uh, I think the end result is really cool. So I thought I'd make this video before I put it up on the tree today. And uh, it's a little easier to explain when it's on the ground and on the kitchen table. Merry Christmas and happy lighting.